Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this very simple device that can be used to measure an electric current. Before digital ammeters and even before analog ammeters that used the Darson valve mechanism, people managed to measure currents using different methods and one of them was this device known as the hot wire ammeter. How it works? Okay, it's very simple. Here I have a thin wire. Let me put... Okay. As you can see, here is the wire. Is size 34. AWG and the wire is connected to measure the electric current that passes through it. Then here I have this thread connected to the wire goes through this pivot and there is a little spring here to keep the thread in tension. Then as you may know when a current flows through a wire, the wire heats because of the Joule effect and also there is another property of metals when a metal is hot it expands, its length gets larger therefore when the current passes through, the, through this thin wire the wire gets larger and the thread is pulled in this direction. Here I have a pivot. It is an electric motor, but it is not connected to anything. I, I am just using the motor as a pivot. And therefore, the thread will move in this direction and the needle will rotate. The more electric current, we will have more temperature in the wire and the wire will get larger. Therefore, the movement of the needle will be an indication of how large is the electric current that passes through the wire. So, let's see the device in action. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, the power supply is connected to the thin wire. Let me turn it on. Look at the position of the needle. Here we go, 2.5 amps and the needle moved to the right. If we increase the current, for example, 3.5 amps, the needle moves further to the right. Of course, it is slow to respond because it takes time for the heat to act on the wire. Let's get back to 2.5 amps, the needle moves to the left and if we turn off the power supply, the needle returns to the zero position. In order to use it, of course, you need to calibrate it. You will mark a zero when there is no current and then you put different currents and mark the values on a scale. Of course, this instrument is not of high accuracy. It has several problems. One of them, as you could see, is that it is slow to respond to the change in current. Also, uh, depends on the ambient temperature because that will change the calibration of the instrument. If it is hot or cold, the wire is at a different temperature 
and the calibration is lost. And even if you have uh, some air currents in your room, the air will cool the wire and your measurement will be wrong. However, there was a time when this was everything that you got and people used this kind of devices to make their measurements. So, for this video, that's all. I hope you find it this interesting and see you in the next video.